What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the new iOS 7.1 through iOS 7.1.1 jailbreak. So this was actually just released today. So everybody that accidentally upgraded to iOS 7.1 or higher, then you guys are going to be very happy about this new jailbreak. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this entire process. That way you can get your device jailbroken. Now, keep in mind this is only available for Windows right now, but the Mac version will be available hopefully soon. And if you guys wanna see a tutorial on that, then make sure you hit that like button to let me know. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start with this tutorial. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you go to this website right here. I'll put it in the link in the description below, right below that like button. And you can just click on that and go directly here. And then all you need to do is just click on Windows. And this is going to basically allow you to download the new tool. So once you've done that, which I've already done, here is the new tool. So I've just put it on my desktop right here. And I'm gonna minimize this window. I've actually already opened it up. So once you have this downloaded, all you need to do is make sure you open this up and then you're gonna get some question marks right here, possibly. If you don't have the Chinese character language on your uh, PC, then this is what it's going to look like. So it looks a little confusing, but all you need to do is make sure that you have uh, plugged in your device right here so you can see my 3 comma 1 iOS 7.1 and just to show you guys I'm gonna jump into settings and I'll show you that I'm actually on iOS 7.1 as you can see right there so we're gonna go out of that and then the next thing you want to do is make sure that you untick this box and basically what this does is if this box is ticked when you jailbreak your device it is going to install third-party software so you don't really want that so untick that box and then what you're going to do is click this little button right here with all the question marks this is basically just the jailbreak button so we're gonna go out of this swipe over and we're gonna click this button now right when you click that button it's going to tell you that you need to go into your settings so we're gonna swipe over here open up our settings and then we're gonna go back and basically what we're needing to do is change our date and time so we're gonna scroll down here to date and time and then we're gonna take off set automatically and then we're gonna tap on this date right here and then we're just gonna scroll up it needs to be on June 2nd or later but we're just gonna put it on June 2nd right here so once you get it on June 2nd hit the home button and you should be good it's gonna start the jailbreaking process now it's gonna continue through right here as you can see and once this goes through there's not a whole lot of indicators on the uh, UI right here that's going to be telling you what it's doing but just give it some time and uh, let it do its thing now you're gonna notice right here that we have on our device a new icon this is the Pangu icon so once you have that icon just go ahead and tap on it and it says are you sure you want to open up this application tap continue and it should continue on with the jailbreaking process so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through this that way you don't have to sit through the entire thing and I'll meet you at the next step All right, so now it's actually booting back up. And you know that the jailbreaking process is complete once you see up here on the window that it says that your device is plugged in. It says that three comma one and then what iOS you're on, just depending on what device you're on as well. But the progress bar will be gray. That means that it's completely done and it's booting up for the first time. All right, so as you guys can see, like I said, you have the iPhone listed right here that is connected as well as the iOS. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to unlock the device give it just a second. And then when we swipe over, there is Cydia and we're going to open that up and then we're just going to prepare the file system. And this usually takes about 20 seconds or so. So let it go ahead and do that. And then it's going to exit out of Cydia once that's complete. All right. So now Cydia has been updated and you can see right here that we can open that up and we are now jailbroken on iOS 7.1, or if you're on 7.1.1, then you're jailbroken as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do wanna see some compatible jailbreak tweaks for iOS 7.1 and 7.1.1, then let me know in the comments below, as well as by hitting that like button. All right guys, until next time, peace.